built in built in actions these are built in controller classes built in controller classes one action is forward action class it's a simple action class by extending from our action class only they implemented it okay internal functionality of this forward action is what when you submit a request to forward action forward action will redirect it to another pages whenever you submit a request to forward action class whenever you submit a request to forward action then it will redirect it to another page or another action class from one form if you request it from form one if you request it if you want to redirect it to form two it will redirect it just it will bypass your request it will forward your request to from one form to another form there is one class include action class include action class include action class it is quite opposite to your forward action include action what it will do one form content it will include into another form one form content it will include into another form from this di from this direction it is like forward action right no actually it will read that content and it will keep that same content into again this form okay include action another page content it will include here whereas forward action class will redirect our request to another form include is different forward is different forward just it will dispatch our request to another forms whereas include will get output of another form okay we have one include action we have an include action and we have one switch action we have one switch action switch action switch action when you have multiple modules when you have multiple modules one admin module and if you have one employee module and when you have multiple modules from this admin form let's say if i have a form here admin form form 1 from this admin form if this admin if you want to redirect it to employee from that employee if you want to invoke employee form form 2 from one module form 2 if you want to request another module form directly by using forward action if you try to request it will not forward here you need to use forward action here you need to use forward action that forward action need to redirect it to switch action that forward action need to redirect to switch action then switch action again it need to request a forward action then that forward action need to request your page to means between two modules we need to use a switch using that switch only we need to shift to our request to from one module to another module switchers rotor switches don't know that electric boards so here this switch is useful for shifting our request from one module to another module we have to use from one module to another module if you want to switch your request then using this switch action class you need to switch your request from one module to another module directly it is not possible using forward action class using forward action class directly if you map to another module page it can't able to invoke it through switch action class only we need to invoke it okay so switch action class is for what to switch actions from one action one module to another module and we have one download action class download action we have one download action class this download action class is for doing just simple file downloads it is useful to do simple file downloads bytes of streams if you want to download into your web browser that stream data you can download let's say if you have one movie in your server if you have a movie in your server let's say if it is 1 gb movie so byte by byte if you want to send to browser byte by byte if you want to send to your browser something byte by byte some byte by byte information zeros and ones if you want to send to your browser using download action class we can read our movie data and we can send in the form of streams in the form of streams we can send to browser then browser again it can convert that streams into required movie file then that movie file it can distribute to users okay it can show to the users so that streams i mean bytes of streams if you want to send using this download action class you can pick a file you can convert into bytes of streams that streams you can send to browser 
using download action class we can make it simple means you don't need to write so much code just we have to read file and we have to attach to download action class then this download action class will send in the form of bytes of streams okay so for doing simple file download operations this download action class is useful and we have one more action class exception handler exception handler there is one more handler class exception handler for doing exception handlings we have to use this generally we used to handle exceptions by using try catches but in struts action classes you no need to write this code the reason struts action classes execute methods always they used to throws exceptions if a method if it throws exception there you no need to write any try catches in case if it throws any exception is it handling throws exception means it is handling no it is reporting right so we are reporting from our action class to whom when request to processor when request to processor submits request to your action class when request to processor submits action to your action class which method it will call execute. generally it used to call execute method if there is any exception execute method what it will do it will throws exception to whom request to processor it will throws exception from here to here so that exception object it will get here then if you want to handle exceptions you can write a separate handler class you can write a handler you can write a handler by extending from exception handler here you can write execute method here also we have an execute method when it throws exception to here then it will redirect that exception to this handler so it is similar like catch block right so whenever you get exceptions on your action class you can redirect it to handler classes handler classes are like your catch blocks who will do this job your request to processor will do this job when you get exceptions on controllers you can handle them by using exception handler class so exception handling is possible dynamically by writing another classes if you know spring aop in spring aop we have one throws advice in case of exceptions that throws advice will execute in the same way in case of exceptions in your action class this exception handler class will execute so that exception handlers we can write by using exception handler these are the main built in action classes we have to discuss here okay and is there any built in action yeah if i forget anything i'll add later so these are the main built in action classes have to discuss here so first just i'll go through forward action class in case of surlets how we used to forward our request from one surlet to another surlet request to dispatcher forward mechanism we have request to dispatcher forward mechanism using request to dispatcher forward mechanism we can redirect our same request to, to up to any number of controllers let's say if you have one surlet here if you have one surlet s1 surlet s2 surlet s3 s4 up to s10 if you have here up to s10 if you have here once if i submit request from my form once if i submit my name from here send if you want to send the same name from this surlet to this surlet from here to here then from here to here then from here to here if you want to redirect the same name means your request still if you want to make it alive up to this 10th controller what you should do here you need to use request to dispatcher to surlet to request to dispatcher dot forward request to dispatcher of forward request comma response once again you need to create request to dispatcher here to surlet 3 from here we need to call request to dispatcher forward of request response the same thing we need to write here so what happens whenever i submit this this data will go to this surlet from here it will redirect to this surlet from here it will redirect to this surlet like up to 10th surlet it will dispatch your request in case such type of requirements if you have in your action classes we have multiple action classes right action dispatch action so there from one action class to another action class if you want to dispatch your request if you have action class 1 action class 2 action class 3 if you have multiple action classes from one action class to another action class if you want to dispatch your same request if you want to dispatch your same request let's say if you have one crud operation form after completion of crud operation if you want to redirect to another controller 
or else if you have a login controller after checking logins login controlling if it is everything fine if you want to go to inbox page means if you want to go to another controller there if you want to read database and if you want to populate on user console so for one single request if you want to execute more than one controller class by forwarding request from one controller to another controller using this what we are doing actually we are sharing job right by using request dispatcher mechanism what we are doing we are sharing job using 10 controllers here so such type of sharings if you want to apply for your action classes here also you required forward mechanism request to forward mechanism to do request to forward we have to use forward actions these forward actions are not only for like forwarding one page to another page these forward actions are for mapping request from one action class to another action class in some cases you may need to redirect from one page to another page let's say if you have one JSP page JSP page one from one JSP page to another JSP page if you want to redirect it also you can use it using forward action class you can redirect it okay so using forward action finally what we can do we can map request from one page to another page or from one action class to another action class so how we can do this first from one page to another page from one JSP page to second JSP page if you want to dispatch your request from one JSP page to another JSP page if you want to dispatch your request the first thing if you want to apply for your forward action class if you have page if you have one first dot JSP page let's say here if you have content simple hello from this page to if you want to redirect it to next page second page second dot JSP if you have high here whenever I submit a hyperlink here whenever I submit a hyperlink here my action need to redirect to second page so here usually what we used to do in case of simple uh, HTML or JSP we used to create a anchor tag h reference second dot JSP here we used to put the name click whenever we click here it will redirect it to if you write such code here it will provide us one click hyperlink whenever you click here it will redirect it to second page but if anybody if they try to see view source here if they click view source what happens they can see this page like page urls right directly they can find page urls let's say if you have any business logic here directly they can read your page so we should not show our page urls at least one single page url also we should not show we should hide complete urls means your page names they should not know for user what he, he required page content he required page names he did, uh, doesn't require right but if you show page names what happens using our datagram packets and circuit classes we can read some page contents so to avoid to read page content page business logics we should not show us our page urls so without showing this page urls how we can redirect instead of putting direct page mappings here you need to use url mappings some url pattern you need to configure here that url pattern you need to configure in your web.xml file in jsps if you want to hide this page names what you should do you need to configure simple url pattern here you can configure any pattern here like hi this pattern you can configure under web.xml file in web.xml file you can configure like this under url pattern under url pattern you can put hi for this hi you can map to a jsp page url pattern select name something hi we have to put in between select mapping for this url pattern hi you can map to a jsp page how we can map select name hi and jsp jsp file or jsp jsp, plus. JSP, JSP, file. JSP file second dot jsp so we can hide actual url if anybody if they try to see view source what happens they will find only hi they will not find your exact second page right so who will know about your second page web.xml file under web.xml file we have actual configurations but whenever user try to see view source code he will find only hi right so whenever you submit here it will redirect it to second.jsp page okay finally what it will do that second.jsp page url it will show on browser url 
I can hide from here, but I'm, whenever I submit here, again it will show under URL directly your second dot JSP page. But if you go through struts, struts will not show us our pages. It will not show your page names. Okay, it will not show your page names. Your page action names it will show on top of URL. So here, by using struts, if you want to request, if you want to request from one form to another form, using struts, if you want to do this job, if you if you want to do this forward job using struts.